There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place, and I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. There are sweet. Oh, 
one, two verses are just going to tell us something about what these people did during their own time. We have come before the Lord, and the Lord wants us to do something. For this today's conference, He wants us to do something. Look at John chapter 21, John 21 from verse 3. John 21, verse 3. The Bible says, Simon Peter said unto them, I go a fishing. They said unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into the ship immediately. And that night they caught nothing. Then in verse 6, the Bible says, And he said unto them, Jesus now, he said, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. And they cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Praise the Lord. Amen. You might have been attending different sisters' conference. But the Lord is saying, like these people here, they toiled all night. And you might, might, you might have been looking up to God for one thing or the other and said, God, I need more blessing. I want to know more. I want to know more about myself. I want to know more about you. And these people, they toiled all night. They were fishermen, but they could not catch any fish. And now in verse 6, the Bible says, Jesus told them, you have been looking at other side. You have been toiling for the past few years. But now I want to give you the breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And just cast the net on them on the right side. As you have come to the presence of the Lord, just know that the Lord has brought you to the right hand. Amen. And as you shall be hearing the word of the Lord, just let your heart be right with God. Amen. Because the right word from the presence of the Lord will fall onto the right part of your heart in Amen. Jesus. Amen. And whatsoever you might have been looking up to God for, during this conference, the Lord is going to do this for you. Amen. Amen. Don't think, oh, okay, how many of us are here, but the presence of the Lord is with us. Amen. The Lord is with you right there. Amen. And as you look up to God, as you listen to the word of God patiently, and as you look up to God through prayer, the Lord himself will do wonders in your life. Amen. Amen. I welcome every one of us once again Amen. to this wonderful sister's conference. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. in the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. let this conference open. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And ourselves, you know when God handles our men, we have a, the, the way God will handle us, raise to power two. Mm. You know, you know how many of you know mathematics? Mm. Raise to power two. Because we have our own nature is but God will help us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been blessed so far. Amen. I've been blessed so far. Because I know God is here. Amen. God is not moved by multitudes. At all. Even when God does some things. He moved with the leaks. When he was with his disciples, they were so mad I wanted to move with him. He started putting them until he had 12. And out of the 12, he still had some people. And it was those closest to him that we could hear of them. Mm -hmm. They are today we could refer to them before mm -hmm. they caught something from him. Get something from the Lord this afternoon. And I know the Lord is there to pour a lot yeah. in our vessels. Amen. And please let our vessels be ready mm -hmm. to take him. Amen. Because if the vessels are not open, the verses might just be there and not be opened. Mm. So, apart from you being focused, open your yourself, your heart. Mm. Where the Lord is about to break some things down, mm. let Him do it. Free feel in His presence. Mm. Let Him take some things out and add some things to Him. Mm. God will help us. Yeah. This particular man, even though she has four children, this particular man has succeeded. The timing of God for each mission is different. Mm. The timing of God for each mission is different. If you go to the army, they have every plan. There's a mission for a particular plan to start. At the moment one mission starts, up, another one starts. Every mission does not just come. Boom! It's half its timing. So if you are here, you think about it that my mates have gone ahead of me. Something has done a little bit. I'm not. Check your life. Do you carry that presence? Have you heard God? Because there for every mission, the Lord is just changing a lot of things. For every mission, there's instructions. For every mission, there's instructions. There's some instructions the Lord has said to people. There's some instructions the Lord has told me that I must be careful. But if you don't carry the presence and you don't know him that is the presence, you won't hear the instructions. And you might have gone long, long, carried so much on, the, on this place. 
carry so much in the place because you've not gotten the instruction to get to where you are going. The Lord is just saying, go here. And you, you've gone 20 miles because you can't hear. So sometimes it's our own hand doing. And sometimes it's the devil himself. And sometimes our flesh. But one thing I found out in that Esther was that it was just the right timing for her. But she might have been crying and crying and crying. And crying. Maybe the uh, the Mordecai. And if you look at the kind of makeup of Mordecai, he's a hard man. You know, when a man is passing, you didn't look, you didn't, you didn't greet him. You can know that. And, but you find out that Esther was a bit, a cool-headed person that listens to what? Instructions. Listen to what? Instructions. Let's talk. Listen to what? Instructions. She might have been used. If I'm living with my mommy, and today she instructs me to do this, I don't hear. My sister instructs me to do this, I don't hear. Instructs me to do this, I don't hear. After you don't, 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 she will just leave me sometimes. But even if I tell her, she will not answer me. And if there's a major thing in like this person that does not hear instruction, I must not tell her. That means Esther will have been used to hearing instruction from Mudika. That was why he could introduce her. I wonder if he had a child, Mudika. He would have had sisters now. Or he would have had relatives. But when it's God's time to change situation, he will break protocols. He will change situation that is only you because you carry his presence. It's only you that will be right candidate for that mission to be accomplished. Holy Spirit, Ruth was just there. Ruth was a woman that she was, you know, very young, beautiful girl. She waited 10 years for childbirth, no child coming. She did everything that day. She was not even carrying the presence of God. You know she was not carrying the presence of God then because she didn't know the God of Naomi. So there are some people that are not carrying the presence of God, but they listen to instructions. And God has seen that attribute in them. And God will like, this person can carry my presence. I can give this to this person. He can use it well. He can do it well. So if he get, gets my presence, the power of my presence will radiate in the person's life. And that was why they were two. But the other one of us said, no, I'm not following instruction. No. I can't do it. And she left. You know, there's every time there are candidates. I tell people, if you don't do it, there's always a replacement ready. Right. There's always a replacement ready for the work of God. Mm -hmm. I look at roots. We are still going back to them because that's what the Lord will not just make it to. I just heard roots. And that was how she orchestrated herself. She wasn't in the plan. You know, even in the whole city, is there no virgin before Ruth came in? Brethren, in the whole highland, in the whole Netherland, <laughs> is there no virgin, is there no person to do that work for boys to marry? Until when Ruth came in, she just came in. She wasn't part of the lineage. She wasn't, and the Lord just put her because she could carry the present. She did what? Followed instruction. That is what the Lord wants to tell you that she followed instructions. Now they told her to do what? If it was you, no child for 10 years. Husband died. No future. We will have just left. We won't want to go to the presence of God. We won't want the power. We want to go back to the presence of where we are coming from. Because there are some presence. You know when you see the presence of Queen? Mommy, you go before the Queen. You want one million dollars or something. You want something in the UK. You are sure. I see her now. I see her. It's not fit. So she will do it for me. But the presence of our God, we can't really see God with our faith. We need faith to know that that presence can do miracles. Yes. We need faith to know that that presence can, can, can do power and mighty things. Mm -hmm. And that was the story of Ruth. She did well. She followed instruction. And today we can talk about her. Say, how we follow instruction? How we follow instruction? I will follow God instructions to enter into His presence. Praise the Lord. And we saw what happened to Esther. We saw she followed instruction. But the guy told her, hey, there's something happening now. If it was you, like, me, I'm not fine now. I'm not beautiful. I'm not going. There's some opportunities that have come in people's way. Because of fear, we've missed it. Mm. Do you know Esther will have like, ah, me, to 
liberal parents. Ah, no, they are beautiful people. They are rich people. They are this. So, ah, Monica, don't worry. I don't want to go. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And that was how she followed. She said, okay, I will follow. The first instruction, come. Follow me. There's something there. Follow me. And she got to wear the palace. Another word, instruction. Do you know another instruction got there? And that one said, when you get there, don't tell them who you are. How many of you know you are? That is a lie now. You know? But there are some times that God will not even make them to even ask you so that you don't even lie. But she followed the instruction. Do you know after she followed the instruction of Mordecai? I found out that she followed the instruction of people that were in the palace. When they were giving them the beauty things, how many of you? Yeah, ah. <laughs> a lot of people you don't know them when there's no money. Let money come. They forget who they are. Well, even you know when when it comes, you will see them. They will just be doing it. I said, ah, you look at it. But when she got there, she still comport herself. When others were going to choose what they wanted, she told the Enochs that see. It's whatever you give me, I will use. You can see that one is really dead to self. Our self would have told her to wear that beautiful garment that was there. When you want to enter into his presence and get the power, you have to be dead to yourself. You have to be dead to whatever your instructions, your peers have given you. A lot of women have missed it in mind because of what their peers have given them. Do like this, or do like this. Don't you know what God is saying? I just look at it dramatically. There are some of our peers who like take their clothes and wear. Some of them will have worn the two is in the middle of three. The outside is in the middle of three and five. You know, that's a bit of wisdom. But the interviewer, the owner of the company, there's a woman that is highly intelligent and smart. The manager says, Sorry, no. thank you, you can go. Then the other one came in. Nurse asked her, Two plus two is what? And she looked at the man. Whatever you tell me to, the answer is whatever you want me to say. Mm. You know when I sat there and look at it, in your whole human knowledge, two plus two is four. Whatever. But the man was looking for a person that will reduce himself mm. and let him give instructions. She knows the answer, but I told the man, whatever the answer you tell me to say, I know the answer, but what, what the answer you say is what I will say. Mm. And that was all he said. Please hire her for the job. He looked so stupid. He looked so. But that was wisdom. How many of you are under a boss, under somebody like that? And they gave me instruction. There's a time I was under a person. I said, this. I said, Mommy, whatever you want me to do. She was looking at me. I said, I said, whatever you want me to do, I will do. I, I emptied myself who I am. But I know she wanted me to do something. But she was just asking me, to, uh, What do you want? Can we say to God, there's whatever instructions you give me, that I will do. And that was what Esther did. She said, give me whatever. And you know it's the Enoch that knows what the, queen, the king likes. She has not been to the palace before. She has not been to the royal priesthood before. She has not been, a, she has not even near it before. An orphan that does not have anything. But she knows the secrets. There is those enough that know the attire that the king likes. They've been with him how many years? Mm. They've dressed people. People bashed him. I will be them that dressed bashed him before our gun came. So she knows that you can tell the that you are not In the name of Jesus. Then we are with the presence of God. So tell us, say to yourself, if you know you are not God again, he doesn't know you. I will call you out. Set yourself and confess your sins. Tell the Lord, here I am, O oh God, that is confess, O oh God. Now, Lord, touch me, O oh God. Touch you, O oh God. Forgive me every sin, O oh God. Use your blood to wash my sin away. In the name of Jesus. Set to yourself first. In the name of the Lord. Set to yourself first. Set to it. Set to it. Set to it. Before it pour. Before it pour itself in you. Light and darkness cannot comprehend each other. If you need to dedicate your life to the Lord, dedicate it back. Yes, you are born again. Yes, you are a Christian. Yes, you are a, you are a Bible believing sister. 
But something has gone wrong. It might just be yesterday. It might be this morning. It might be something. Tell the Lord that, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh God. I'm sorry. Esther had to say to herself before the Lord. She had to say to herself before she went to the presence of the king. And we can see how the Lord did miracles of selling our life. Yes. So now when we say to ourselves to the Lord, we cannot tell the Lord to fill our cup. Tell the Lord to fill our cup. Let's sing this song again. Fill my cup, Lord. Yes. I lift it up, Lord. Come on, quench this thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, lift it up and make me. Touch me one more time. Oh, 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 Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord. Touch me one more time. One more time. Touch me one more time. Yes, oh God, touch us one more time. Oh, Lord. Yes, oh God. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord. Yes, I did a touch from you, oh God. Amen. Come back and testify to the goodness of God. Amen. What is it? The Lord that will do it. Amen. These are my children. Amen. We still going to pray. Yes, oh God. We are still going to pray, and we are going to pray and say every woman in the ministry, God will offer them. Because to be in the ministry as a woman is not an easy job. It's not a, it's not a joke. The God of what the woman's hand, of what they love, work with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, 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 them, oh God, to the end. Oh God, 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 God,
in the name of Jesus. Lord, from every snare of the enemy, Lord, Father, remove them all, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, King of God, Lord, Father, let it be, Lord, Father, among the unique ones, Lord, Father, in this world, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, King of God, keep them, O God, Jehovah, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Surround them by your power, Lord, Father, King of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Shield them, Lord, Father, my Lord, Jehovah, Lord, under your wings, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be, O God, all the children of oh God, Father, my Lord, that will have that fear of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I pray concerning their lives. Father, Jehovah, do wonders in their lives. Lord, separate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Separate Olamide, oh God, Jehovah, I pray. Lord, separate, Lord, Father, my Lord, King of God, David, for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch them once again, oh God, in Jesus' name. God. My children, they are not mad, they are lost. That's it. I'm just a caretaker. Mm -hmm. Lord, as from today, wherever they go, where I cannot see. That's it. Amen, in the name of Jesus. Lord, these children, they are not mine, but they are yours, oh God, Jehovah. Let your eyes, oh God, oh Father, watch over them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, oh God, wherever they will go. Jehovah Jireh, oh Father, you will continue being with them, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The angels of God will continue guiding them, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not fall, oh Father. And also in our homes, in our community, and wherever God has planted us, you know. I agree women should lead, but by the help of God, we should lead so that we can lead our right. Praise the Lord. Can we clap for our sister? Praise the Lord. You can see that um, she said something. She said not only women, but godly women. Um, you know, When godly women, they will have the design, they will design well in what way to take decisions, in what to do, you know, in everything. And God will help us, godly women. But sometimes, godly women, they don't even take the right decisions, you know. You know, we were, we were saying something about this presence. So, you know, everything still pulls down to receive instructions. When the Lord gives them instructions and they take instructions, it still, it still comes back to that. If you are a leader and a woman, I take instruction from yourself. The self will move. You know? But when you take instruction from the Spirit, you find out that the Spirit will give you the right thing the people need. But the flesh will just give you the just whatever. But the spirit, the spirit will actually give you the right thing for them. I pray God will help our godly women family. I pray God will help them to receive kids, joy, and joy. We go and sit down. I pray God will help them to take godly decisions. They will not take decisions that is not of the Lord. Amen. Do you know somebody in the Bible took a decision? And that is what is affecting the world today. Who? Who? Sarah. 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 She was a godly woman. She was a good woman. She was, you can see that she waited and waited and waited. Oh, God should help us in our waiting time. Mm -hmm. Even when you are in power. When you want things to do and it's not working. Mm -hmm. There are sometimes pressures of life will come so, so much that we now take decisions from where? Our flesh. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Flair came so much. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't as if she was not a Christian. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as if she wasn't godly. But that particular moment, Mr. Flesh was like this. And Mr. Spirit was... And what happened? She took decision from what? Mr. Flesh. And what I said, what is the decision of Mr. Flesh? Instruction. Mm -hmm. She was in power. She was a woman in the household. They had so many servants, so many maid servants, so many servants. She was taking control of the household. But something happened. I pray we'll not get to the junction that will take the wrong decision. Amen. As women in power, we'll not get to the place that will take the wrong decision. Amen. And she told the husband. And you can see that she was able to have control over the husband. Women, you know, she was able to have control. God had told them this is what he wants, this is the covenant, this is this. 
But Mama Zera came and said, see, oh, it's as if this one thing is not coming from me. Go and take one of my... Is that what the Lord said? Is that the instruction of the Lord? And she took instruction from Mr. Flesh. And that particular decision changed the history of the whole world. Yes. That is why we have Boko Haram. Mm. That is why we have all those Gaza killing. Because Ishmael is the father of all the Muslim. It's through him the Muslim came up. It's through him all the Arabians came up. It's through him. And the Lord still blessed. Now that is God. If you take a wrong decision, that doesn't mean God. And when he, that's because he's a baby. It wasn't the fault of a baby that came out. It wasn't the fault of it. Nobody takes decision. So people will go and fornicate and the baby will come and say the baby should die. No, it can't die. It can't die. Your wrong decision did not make the baby to be something else. And the Lord still bless the child. But you know the mother of the child is not godly. You know, if the mother of the child was still godly, because we never had a situation they said she was a Christian, she was, you know, if she was God, probably she would have helped the child not to go in that wrong, wrong path to follow the people of, you know. And today, are we not suffering from it? <laughs> in Nigeria, a lot of people have died. There's a time my husband was there ministering. As he went, like, born purple, I said, God. A lot of pastors have died. A lot is happening. Back in there, Gaza, Syria, Palestine. You look at each time you open CNN or BBC, you see, you see, you see, you see children. You see blood being splashed. Do you know the devil know that this is what will happen? Thousands of years. And said, somebody that is the power. A woman that's power will take that decision because he wants to destroy. Because he knows that if all of them give their life to Christ, if everybody is a lineage of Abraham, all of us will be godly, will be Christian, and then we will make heaven. And he didn't want it. So he went to somebody and Mr. Flesh took over. Mm. He started it from evil. Mm. He was not able to do it. God came instantly and said, okay, and send them. But something, something again, he started again. And what happened? She succumbed. And, you know, God, I was like, I was thinking, as, why did she even get pregnant? God would have been able to allow the pregnancy to come. Mm. But that is not good. Sometimes they take wrong decisions. And you will still bless it. You yeah. will still do it. Because it's God. Mm -hmm. It's not man. That is why we should watch decisions we take. We should watch what we do as women in power. She used her power over her household because she would have told the maid that come, you must sleep with her husband. And make sure it's your something period. Make sure it's something, you know. And now go to the husband and say, see, why was oh, that one? Why not a godly one? Because I feel out of all the men, there will be a Christian out of a, a Christ, a Christ mind one out of them. And she used that power. And today we are still suffering. So women in power, we will see later when we are praying that God will make all women in power to take right decisions. That generation after them will not suffer from it. Today, where is Mama Sarah? She has died now. Where are they? Where is Ishmael? They are no more. They have died. But who is suffering? Generation after them. Generation, generation, generation after them. Did Isaac not come? Isaac still came eventually. So sometimes in that waiting period, be careful of the decision we take. We make as women in power. Praise the Lord. So let's go back now to our, we are talking about women. But is it good for a woman to lead or for a man to be there? What is the rationale? What's the difference? What do you feel? Because some people say, no, 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 I don't want men to lead. You know, when they leave, they just cut everything. They will fight. They will do this. They will do that. But men can stand tall. But we have the bola. We have people that have done it before. And we have people that will still do it. So it's not left to all of us now that will I be that person that the Lord is relying upon? Praise the Lord. Amen. So my sister, what do you feel? Women in power. What is your own view? Do you want a woman or a man? What do you feel? What is the difference? I don't say much, it's just something that I just want to check in. It's good for women to be in power. If we if we look in like we have been talking about the Bible side of it, and even if we look into the world as well, so many places that women are in power there you could see things are changing. Mm -hmm. Like I always think in my heart that if women should take over Nigeria to be the president, something mm -hmm. something will happen. Mm -hmm. Because women you, we have a willpower. And uh, the two things that I, I think a woman in power needs is wisdom mm. and the fear of God. Because the two goes together. You said that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So when you have the fear of God, you 
any decision you want to take, you know, you have Christ in you that makes you to think, oh, is it the right way or not? And wisdom takes us, makes us, to, to, you know, to be great. Because when you are doing your own things, if you are full of wisdom, the way you handle your things are different. So that's the truth that I believe women, anybody, any woman that wants to be in power should have the fear of God and wisdom of God. And it's, very, it's good for women to be to, to be in power. But when you are there, like all my sons are, are the same things, why are you there? Mm -hmm. You must remember the purpose why you are there. And, I was just kind of like thinking about that, that, and after that we know that if she was the one who had children, mm -hmm. who, who is, God can say, can put that womb to a man, but he made it, mm -hmm. he gave womb, uh, womb to Eve. Mm -hmm. And I was just thinking, why? Because he knows that we have that power. Mm -hmm. Because you, you were talking about when, when we are going to have children, yeah. you know the pains. Yeah. If, 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 for, for us to come out from that pain, that means we have the power. Mm. Because you know that the, that pain of labor is a powerful labor. I mean, uh, pain. You know, for us to go through that labor, we have a, uh, we have something. And, the, and I was just kind of thinking about that scenario that devil didn't go to I mean, I mean, Satan didn't go to Adam. He went to to Eve because he has seen something. Yes, he has seen something in Eve. And then, mommy, uh, glory, uh, Gloria, he, she talked about De De Deborah. She was one of the women that we know that women we can lead mm. and we have the power. Mm. You know, God has given us something mm. and that thing is start from our home. Mm. If we, our home can be in order, they always they say, there's something that they always say that if the home can be in order, the community can be in order yes. and the nation will be in order and the world will be in order. Mm. Now that thing, if it can start in our homes, he said when De 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 Deborah saw that the, the, the people that have left the village life, but she came that I want their village life to now to start in these people. Yeah. You know, for us to be able to live this because we know the village life. You know, she was to, she was talking about the village life, uh, mommy uh, Gloria there. That she knows what is the deal of love, the, the love of love, sharing and all those things. Now in our days we know, for example, our president, the president of American uh, American now, mm -hmm. Obama. Most of the time people they think that it's Obama, but we know the wife what she's doing. That woman, mm. she's powerful. We know what she's doing. Mm. You know, Michelle, when she give you the testimony when she does, they will tell that she's more even powerful than the husband. Did you see that? She's more powerful than the husband. They, we are just talking about the women now. Just mm. even the people that they don't know mm. God. Mm. For you to be able to know how mm. women were powerful. Mm. No matter whether we know God or not. Mm. Now, just imagine now if we know God, how powerful we are going to be. Mm. What we can do. Now, we don't want, we don't, as a women in, the, in Christ, we don't have to limit ourselves. Because God has given us more. In, the, in our ministry in the church, we can do more. We can do more. Yes. Better. Even than the than the man because we know our we know we know our weakness of man we know man said we are the backbone mm. of the house we are the backbone of the house indeed because even before the man said this he said you have already think mm. that you know I can do it we can do this and we can do this. you know that kind of a thing now let's use that power we saw in even in the life of Mary he's the one who who, who pushed Jesus Christ to start, uh, to perform the first miracle mm. she, she told Jesus Christ you can do it mm. But Jesus Christ said, I can't do it. Uh, it's not my time yeah. yet. <laughs> but Mary knew that yeah. it's the time. Yeah. You know, that's the that's women now. For you to be able to know that, even God speaks to us. There's some certain things God will speak to us. Will not speak to the to the, to, to men, but will speak to the women. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's so wonderful. <laughs> Remember the title of the film, uh, like 
he was eating a baby that yeah. means that the money check something incurable incurable <laughs> wound. Ah, okay. So I was so I was linking the name together when I saw your name. Good to see you, my nice to see the drama troupe from Lagos, Nigeria to UK, UK to Netherlands. Netherlands. <laughs> The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullest thereof. Mm -hmm. We are stepping into our greatness as we move from one place to another. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was no one day. There was issue. You know, there being no one of us. But there was no one day. The Lord bless you. Amen. In that ornament of inner spirits. Amen. Even so, I think you want to take your own decision. Nobody can change your mind. Amen. 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 Because I expected to say one day, hey, 
But once in a while, when she says, hey, she doesn't have time for anybody. <laughs> and I understand that. Go out and say, Stanis, can you do my hair? Hey, mommy, don't come here, me. <laughs> I said, okay, my people. Holy Spirit, I leave it, Holy Spirit. So say, don't leave it, Holy Spirit. That's it, what I'm saying. And she told oh, mommy, why did you leave it, Holy Spirit? That I won't be able to have. I said, it's better than me talking now. And my hair. There was a time I didn't want to do my hair with that because she won't charge me. And it's as if I'm using somebody. So I always feel that. She said, if you don't come, you are losing you. You better come. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for your life. This is where we can talk yeah. about our good works. And the Lord will help you. Strengthen your home. Amen. Amen. Help the ministry. God for Amen. your hand. And also your business to grow more. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Also, I want to talk about Omoja Ade Ayi. She's, head of, she's part of media, she's my personal PA. Oh. <laughs> we have this rough, but she will do her job. Amen. She knows what to do, and by the grace of God, is helping her. She's in the drama ministry, she's the head of drama in our church. She's connected to Mama Evangelist. <laughs> Amen. When I say, ah, Sister, tell you how to do it. I say, it is well. We are happy. Amen. Amen. I got my life. She, she designed so many of our flyers and the Facebook. Everything we do, I just send it to the She did her time. And you know, you have said it, right? Be one that is not your generation. The seed that we have prayed about. Remove, make sure that it's not them that remove the Asian landmark. Nurture them as a caretaker and make sure those children, as you are delivering to them, what the Bible says, that Bible says he trusts Abraham, he will teach his children. Make sure your children don't remove the Asian landmark. Make sure the children are not removing Asian landmark because of your way of living. Mm -hmm. Your careless life as mother. We are talking about the role of a godly mother, but I'm talking about Asian landmark. Asian landmark that there is no way you yourself can do without it. Mm -hmm. As a mother, there is no way you yourself can sleep without touching the Asian landmarks. Mm -hmm. There is no way you want to say you are blind that you can't see that Asian landmark somewhere. The ancient landmarks I'm talking about is the scripture. If you want to be a godly mother, some people say, <laughs> some say, I wonder some men will say, I want a, a good wife. But they are smoking, they are drinking, they are fornicating. I said, if you need a good wife, you must say you must be a good man. Amen. Amen. Iron sharpens what? Iron. Iron. So if God has made a woman, don't go and demand them or break them. Because a man that is not born again is going to frustrate the man, woman that is born again. So if you need a good wife, you yourself be a good man. Amen. So that Asian landmarks will stand mm. in the world and you live the path of righteousness. You don't depart from such. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible warns us that remove not the Asian landmarks. You want to be a godly woman. What are the roles? What are those things that Asian things that God wants us to see? Amen. Amen. Like doctors of destiny, we are talking about every child. We are talking about women should they be in power. Every child, every female, female child that is born, they are empowered already. They are born. Sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know that it's the spirit of the Yeah. Hey.